out beautiful people so today is an Asian kind of day in LA and what Asian I'm talking about like hot and humid it's been kind of crazy weather these days because um two days ago it was super scorching hot then yesterday it was raining but it was still really hot and humid so today I'm not really gonna talk about all the workouts that I did I'm just gonna show you guys footage of the workouts that I did but most importantly I want to talk about the environment and how crucial it is to your success in lifting and I think honestly just in general so I got to the gym a little bit after um, Bar Nadim and Silent Mike and I'm the type of lifter that likes to work around people but I don't really like to talk so I like to keep my headphones in and just kind of stay to myself stay in the zone because unlike I guess boys or the boys that I work out with at least I can't get that intensity and that fire that internal fire where they're like Whoo! and then they like go and they lift some crazy shit. I don't have that. So for me, it's like a mild buildup and I really have to get in the zone and I really have to get in my own head and just tell myself, literally, I'm, it's like, like a mantra going on in my head. I'm just like, fuck yeah, you got this. Fuck that, you got this. Fuck that, you got this. Fuck yeah, you got this. And I repeat that to myself over and over and over again. And, and I create like this, this rhythm in my head. And if that's broken at all, then I kind of have to start all over and I'm kind of removed from my element uh, really quickly. So I'm used to working out that way, but today with Silent Mike, he actually likes people. He likes people's energy. He likes talking about the lift. So he was like, man, it just makes me feel uncomfortable when people around me, you know, are wearing headphones. And since he's a guest at my home at Bar Bar Brigade, I wanted to cater to that. And uh, it actually helped me a lot because I was able to hear everyone's comments. I was able, able to hear my group and my team's positive feedback on like, you got this, hell yeah, this is cake. Or they would give me cues when I was lifting and they're like, wait, stay tight. Stay tight, deep breath, hold on. You're going too fast, or hey, great speed. And all of these cues were things that I was like conscious of and aware of, and because they were screaming it at me, I was like, okay, cool. They have the best, best interest in mind, so I pushed myself that much harder. And, um, and, and I knew this was gonna happen, so I guess the reason why I brought up that I went, I arrived to the gym after Mike and Bart and Nadine was because they had already warmed up, they were already loose, they were about to start hitting weights and uh, they were like, hey, do you want to jump in with us? And I had just gotten there. I was barely putting on my knee sleeves. Sorry, I'm still sweating. I'm like literally just finished. Um, I was still putting on my knee sleeves, still tying my shoes and I was super cold. The only thing I was able to get in before I started working out with them was just hitting the bar a good like 12 times with no weight. And I just rushed the warm up because yeah, I, I felt like I would gain a lot more knowledge and gain a lot more confidence if I was around a team and uh, they pushed me to do better. So because of that, yeah, I was a little bit cold and, and the sets looked kind of weird in the beginning, but it kind of it kind of set the tone for the rest of the workout and I was really positive and although I was still feeling a little tired and fatigued from this weekend that I, I guess I thought I was relaxing, but I guess I didn't relax, I was able to remove myself from that mind state and telling myself you're tired you're tired and it was more like yeah let's do it for the team let's do it for the team they got my back I don't want to let them down so I was able to push myself a little bit harder so for you guys that like to work out alone there's nothing wrong with that but I highly recommend you know once in a while um, just surrounding yourself with like-minded people and, and, and people that have the same goals in mind so that you can be better than what you can be on your own you know you only can do so much by yourself but when you work with a team it really does ignite something in you you know that that pushes you to be better and to try harder because now you have like the support system that you don't want to let down you don't want to disappoint them the way they don't want to disappoint you so I highly recommend just again just staying with somebody that's gonna um that's gonna do that for you so um never forget i don't know what the fuck i'm talking about unless i'm talking about support systems that i know what i'm talking about so thank you so so much guys for following my progress until next time peace <laughs> I love you, love you all. so i literally literally <clears throat> two seconds ago finished my workout i'm back at the barbell brigade office 